this is currently probably the best Scion build, or at least from my point of view. And I'll sh run through it as we go, but essentially we're having the Colossus Toxic be our tanks between our Ranger and this Bull. And then we've got a heap of Scion doing the damage, and I'll explain how it all works as we go. We're up against probably the either first or second best build or meta team at the moment, um, the Mystic Mud, and I play this on my main. So I'm on my Smurf at the moment. This is the team I generally play on my main with a few tweaks. And I've been having trouble with this Scion build, so I thought I'd show it. And it's quite popular at the moment, but not too popular. You don't see it like a ton. So round one is quite strong. You can see we won there. The Toxic Colossus is always just a, a really good, strong start. But Colossus obviously makes him super tanky, extra health, resistance. But more importantly, after one second at the start of combat, it taunts all but nearby enemies for three seconds. So this is a really good way to protect our backline from the rogues, obviously, and against Hard Mystic. So he's obviously going to be playing Mud Predator instead of the extra mystic on his ranger but we do want to spread out so what i'll start off doing i want to protect this side more so so i don't think i spent all my yeah i'm not playing this perfectly just because it is my second time playing this build i played against it but i haven't this is only my second time playing it um but round two we've got the three scion down and i think i could have actually gotten down yeah a bit more there but essentially round one, the Toxic Colossus, round two and three, four, we're just getting our science down. You can stack them up and it'll give you the protection of the Ranger, but the Grilla Omega does this um, statue that taunts everything and it can be quite interruptive to the Scion Omega, so I'd still want to split them up, despite this side not getting the protection of my Colossus. And you put the ball in the middle here against most comps, some, you know, potentially you might play it down here. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert on this build, but everything on that front line is going to target the bull. And he's going to have Toxic and Thorns, so he, he'll end up doing a lot of damage. You can see how all that damage there is the either the Thorns or the Toxic. The two Lynxes are going to be your main source of damage. They, they do a lot of a lot of damage. Just going to split them up here. This will get us to 6 or the 5 Scion. Um, actually, what I want to do here is... play the yeah so that got us to f three water which is probably preferable to what I played then and this probably isn't the best idea because yeah there's a lot I mean we have to clump them up to some degree um, so maybe that's not too bad but he could switch his griller over to here and um, it would be a bit of a pain but we can't completely avoid it looks like we might drop this round but we eventually can get Indomitable and Invon on our tank. And he's already super tanky, so that he's going to be alive a long time. Right, round 4, we can put our seven, our 7th Scion down. And I am going to put Indomitable on my Cardalox. Let's just give the extra... Every 5 seconds we're going to gain Omega and Energy Regen. So we, we've got the 3 Fire there as well, with our last Scion. Which is just giving everyone 10% extra damage. And a bit of even extra on the actual fire units. Just put this Exalted Flish in, um, and later we could change him out, the Lesser Flish for that, but potentially the Augments are just better. We'll see how we go, because he's kind of just getting taken out. But we have the options to put all types of Augments on our back line. We can get extra Indomitable down. Like I said, these ones, the extra energy and Omega every X amount of seconds, or the flat energy on our Lynxes, potentially. To have that first Omega faster. As always, there's going to be a link to the team builder in the description, so you can click on that and import it straight to your team builder. And if you appreciate that in the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And we just want to start being aware, like as you get better at this team, which I'm not yet, you start to get more aware of all the angles of where you want to position your Scions. So at the moment, um, I haven't been paying attention to that, so potentially I want to look at moving my Lynxes because the Flishes will target the furthest enemy. But the Lynxes, they fire their Omega at whoever they're targeting. I do have this Legendary Augment, so maybe I'll actually place it on this guy. And I might make my Ranger a bit more tanky, because the longer it takes this Riplands to get to my backline, the better. And let's just give everyone flat energy at the start. 
the sooner we can get all those Omegas off, the sooner whoever we nuke with those Omegas won't be doing anything. And I think my taunt is working okay here. Like I said, you, the more you play this, the more you'll pay attention to where the weaknesses are. Maybe I could get an Indomitable down over here on this flish. And we'll just see where all these Omegas are going. So my Ranger is lasting a bit longer now. But his Griller is doing work. It's taking out a lot. So I'm just going to try and move all these over. Into a ball here. And... Chuck the Indomitable Wheel down here. Might take up a bit of their time. Let's have him Omega faster, because his second one will get off pretty quickly. And let's just do Invuln here to have him last a bit longer. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hoping to kill his Grillo pretty fast. And that was good too. Yeah, his Griller jumped over to the, the Indomitable, the Flesh with the Indomitable on him. His Griller still lived longer than I would have hoped. But this seems to have worked better. Like I said, these are all things you'll pick up once you play a particular build for a long period of time. Like I've played Mud Mystic a lot and I've lost a lot but I've also learned from every loss so there's little tweaks you'll make um, and I'm still learning this build. So I'm just worried he might make a switch over here but I think that's fine because he'd be more clumped up and I don't mind that at all. So I think I might actually just continue to give myself earlier Omegas. Potentially, my Alfie could use that extra three seconds indomitable, could come in big. Um, let's just go extra energy over time. And maybe just extra mega power here. And let's juice their own energy gain, which is always helpful. Another thing you learn when you play the build longer is exactly what Omegas you're generally placing down during these late games, and you don't end up with 20 mastery points left over like I did. This seems to be working quite well. So you'll start to learn which teams you want to clump up with like I am now, or which teams you want to spread out against. Um, but hopefully that showcases this build quite well. If you like these kind of builds with the casters, I also have an invoker video that you can click on right here and, it'll, and this will run you through an invoker build. So between the Scion and invoker build, you should be set for your casters. But if you appreciated that and you learned something from it, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, the, the team builder link is in the description.